health crisis among American students returning to school, in some cases for the first time in a year and a half. Here's CBS's Meg Oliver. If you're not feeling okay, then you should speak up and say something. This summer at New Jersey's Montclair State University, 16-year-old Catherine Chiki Zumba learned techniques to reduce stress and how to focus on mental wellness. There's a lot of kids they don't want to address it or they're scared to address it. On top of remote high school classes, she worked at her family's daycare center. But as pressure and isolation took a toll, Zumba kept quiet. I will always like fake a smile. Were you depressed? Not really depressed, but like mostly sad all the time. A recent survey by Mental Health America found 54% of 11 to 17 year olds reported frequent suicidal thoughts or self-harm in the previous two weeks, the highest rate since it began screening in 2014. If kids don't have their mental health in check, those academics are gonna, it's gonna be like a toilet bowl. Psychologist Jacqueline Friedman Lombardo. What's your advice to parents and students that are struggling with their mental health right now? Mental health isn't always about seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist. Sometimes it's about becoming involved in your community. It's about making those connections, feeling that you belong. It's happened to you, it happens to us. Even before starting her junior year in high school, Zumba already learned a lifelong lesson. There is going to be issues in life. The real thing that you got to focus on is just, you know, how you handle it. This school year, the lesson is healing children's minds is as important as their academic recovery. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New Jersey.